Hi folks, thought I'd post a little bit of a myth busting clip here on Coffee Grounds. Um, the reason I'm doing it today is I saw an excellent one put out by Patrick from One Yard Revolution channel or here on YouTube and also from Stephen from Alberta Urban Garden channel. Um, they put a bit of a clip up about using pine needles to lower the pH in your soil. So no spoilers, go check it out there um, and then come back and watch the rest of this clip if you want. Um, Coffee Grounds, uh, their clips on YouTube, there are little infographics that pop up on social media like Facebook claiming that using used coffee grounds um, will lower the pH of your soil, in particular around your blueberry uh, plants, because blueberry plants like acidic soil. They actually like it in a range of about four to six. So um, I believe this. I was totally unaware of anything different until I went to a gardening session put on by Brisbane City Council, one of their libraries. It was run by a gardening guru here in South East Queensland called Annette McFarlane. Good day, Annette. Um, the, her link to her website's in the description below as well. Um, she basically busted the myth when someone asked about lowering the pH for your blueberries so she said don't worry about the um, coffee at all go out and buy yourself some flowers of sulfur and that will do a better job at lowering the pH so I'll talk about them towards the end um, flowers of sulfur that is so me being me I thought well I've got to test this for myself I've got a pH pen came home made a cup of coffee the next morning and used my aquaponic pH pen to measure the pH of the grounds that were left over after making a cup. Um, I added a little bit of water in from the tap so it would give me an accurate reading and I came back with a pH of 6.6. .6. Now 7 is neutral and so 6.6 .6 really isn't that much of a, a drop towards the acid side of the scale. Um, in saying that though, depending on what sort of coffee you use, what the pH of the water is coming out of your tap, it does vary from time to time, and also to how your coffee machine works and how much water flows through the coffee, the ground coffee, will all affect the, um, the pH you will end up with in the coffee grounds at the end. But still, a pH of 6.6 .6 really isn't very low on the um, pH scale at all. So. I pretty much will um, blew the myth out of the water for myself then and I went out and bought flowers of sulfur and I've been using them on my blueberries ever since and they've been growing fantastically at the moment we have a mass of flowers on the bush and we're mighty chuffed with it so anyway um, inspired by Patrick and Stephen I thought I'll run upstairs and I'll show you some little ramekins I've set up and also our coffee grounds and just run through with a pH pen and see what sort of a pH we come up with today. Uh, what we've got here set up is a little ramekin with just some water just to get a baseline pH then I've got a ramekin with half a scoop of coffee um, spent coffee just with a little bit of water just to see what the pH is with that once it's uh, in water over here we have some coffee I've sacrificed from my mug and in the end container we have just our collection of used coffee grounds with our soil pH meter. So I'll bring you in close and show you what the pH of uh, the different ramekins are as well as the grounds. So in this first ramekin we have the pH meter reading at round about, we'll see if we can zoom in here, round about 7. Uh, it's actually coming out of the tap a little bit higher than that but it's fallen down to 7 and that's like I said just the um, tap water. The second one here, this ramekin here has the coffee grounds I've added some tap water to and it's coming in at, it'll take a while for this pen to fall, I'm predicting it'll be below 6.5 just because I had a sneak peek before but didn't see where it ended. Uh, here we go, we're at 6. Yeah, we're at 6, which is the top end of the pH range of say a blueberry which is what a lot of people recommend the coffee grounds for. Now, this one here um, is my coffee <laughs> from this morning, so it should be cool enough now to pop this in. And my pH meter is just turned off. Here we go, turning back on. It's starting up, and we have automatically have gone straight down to 4.8. And yeah, there we go. It's stabilized at 4.8. So what that's saying to me is the acid is being stripped from the coffee grounds and going into your morning cup of coffee basically so a little bit lower again 
than the coffee grounds. Now, just to bring in my pH meter here, I um, might have to zoom out a bit for this one. So, just to show you this pH meter, interestingly enough, the pH is sticking around about just below 7, I would say probably around about 6.9. So, whether that's just because uh, just being damp and not wet, like the um, second ramekin there, just means that the, the acid hasn't been drawn out of the remaining coffee grounds. Uh, I'm sure though that if, you know, you were to sprinkle this around your plants and give it a bit of a hose, it would uh, release some of that um, acid into your soil and would lower the pH a bit further from the 6.9 that is showing on this meter. So, there you go. Definitely uh, will lower pH a little bit in some situations, but I don't think it's the be all and end all when you want to lower your pH. What I use and what um, has been recommended to me by a local gardening guru is to use flowers of sulfur or agricultural sulfur. Now this stuff here is just the raw element, no additives, it's just sulfur. Uh, what you do with this stuff is just sprinkle it over the top of your, um, the bed around the plants and you follow the directions on the packet, it tells you what rate to um, lower for certain pH ranges and in certain soil types. Um, and this will lower the pH over time as the sulfur breaks, breaks down. So there you go folks, there's my little look at pH from coffee grounds as it comes from the machine. Um, just added back into some water from the tap and also dry in the bucket. Um, it really won't lower your pH to a point into that 4 to 6 range that your blueberries really like. So uh, I think you're better off using it personally, um, adding it to the top of your garden like um, Patrick does. Uh, check out his gardening clips, he grows some fantastic uh, veggies and he collects a lot of coffee grounds from the local coffee shop. So um, it definitely does work. We feed it to our worms. Our worms absolutely thrive on this stuff. They love it. Um, so I collect it in the bucket like you saw there and then add a whole bucket at a time for those critters and they really hoe through it. Um, throw it in the compost bin. Miles will throw it in the compost bin and let it compost down. It's full of um, nitrogen and other nutrients for your plants so you might as well not waste it and toss it out in the bin as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, Probably not the best. The the flowers of sulfur is probably a good way to um, lower your pH. So there you go. That is pretty much all it. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, feel free to pop them in the comments section below and I shall get back to you. Other than that, don't forget to check out Patrick's channel, One Yard Revolution, and Stephen's Alberta Gardening channel, and also Mr. Chip's channel. Um, here's the gent who started the whole ball rolling so check out those three chaps channels i think you'll thoroughly enjoy them and i shall see you later cheers guys oh kira says hello too cheers guys catch ya